have a confession guys, I think I spent a little bit too much money on makeup this month and I'm a little torn on whether or not I want to make this video. I mean, this is not, this is nothing compared to a lot of other people that I watch, but for me, this is a lot of money that I've spent on makeup and I love most of what I got and I really want to share it with you guys. So please don't take this the wrong way. Please don't see this as me bragging or, you know, being able to spend money on makeup because this is like one of my biggest passions. I love makeup and ever since starting my channel, like obviously there's this little part of me that's like, oh my God, look at this fun new release. You know, I could review it for my channel and whatnot. And so, and so I'm still in the honeymoon phase right now where like everything just looks so appealing because I can show it on my channel and I can have fun with it. So uh, I think we're just going to jump straight into it. So for me, I'm going to start off with the more boring stuff, if you will. I know a lot of people are like really into skincare and stuff and love all that stuff, but personally, I don't really like to see when people talk about it, so I'm just going to get this out of the way. So I was at Target a couple weeks ago, and I saw this little cute set. So it comes with a mask brush and these two little sponges. And these things are brilliant. Like I really love these for taking off a mask because you can just like wet it and then you use it all over your face to get the mask off and then you wring the water out of it and then you can do it again. And you don't have to dunk your whole face into water. I think it's great. So that's one purchase that I would really recommend. I honestly don't remember how much it costs, by, but it's by Eco Tools. I think it's how you say it, Echo Eco Tools, yeah. So check that out if you're in the market for something like that. I also purchased this mask set from Sephora. It's from Glam Glow. And I went in there looking to just try a new mask because why not? I didn't really have any masks left at home. So I thought I would pick up this little set and so far I've tried two of them. One I didn't like as much, the other one I loved. So I'm gonna keep trying these. I don't really know how I feel about them yet, but that's another thing that I purchased that I'm still playing around with. Um, so I'm wondering if I want to save like the palettes and stuff for last, but I don't really see the point in that because I've used them all on my channel already. So the first one that I got is this little blush try quad. If you haven't already seen it, I did do a video with this and like a mini review, it looks like this. It's just four very colorful, colorful shadows and I think this was a collab with four Instagrammers, which is why they all have names of Instagrammers on them. And I really like that Blush Tribe does stuff like that. I feel like they're really in tune with their customers and they really try to like reach out and get to know the people that use the brand. I think that's so cool. So that was one eyeshadow palette that I got. The other eyeshadow palette that I got is the Dragon Child palette by Makeup Monsters. And I have videos on this. I will put them up here for you if you want to check them out. I have a three looks one pop palette and I also have a like first impression on it. And the palette looks like this. It's very unique. It's got a very different color story than anything else I've ever seen. So far, I'm so happy with this palette. I really, really love it. Um, it's not everyone's cup of tea. Uh, you can check out my video videos if you want to see why, but personally, it's uh, probably one of the better palettes that I've bought in a long time. Next up, I have the Masquerade palette by Dewey's Place. This is a mini Masquerade palette, and it looks like this. I haven't really featured this on my channel yet because I actually got this by mistake, or maybe it was my mistake, maybe it was theirs, I don't know, but I put in the order for the Magic Mini and I didn't end up getting that one and I got this one instead. Uh, maybe because the Mini Magic was sold out online, I don't really know what the deal was, but I ended up with this one, so uh, let me know if you want me to do any videos with it and what kind of videos you want to see and I will happily do so. The next palette that I got is also from Juvia's Place and this is the Afrique palette. And this palette, I love. If you have seen my videos on this, you know how much I love this palette. This palette is incredible. It's everything I ever want in a palette. It's got an amazing color story. Uh, the shadows are so easy to blend and work with. And I just I just love Juvia's Place. Juvia's Place, sponsor me. <laughs> I'm kidding, but honestly, guys, this is, this is amazing. Um, next up, probably my favorite purchase this month is something that I wasn't even planning on picking up, but this is the Dior Highlighting Palette. It's seriously stunning. It is so unbelievably gorgeous. Like, I don't use the word wonderful very often, but that's what this is. It is just... It's so good, guys. It's so good. There's nothing I don't love about this. 
Um, I also got another product that I've really been loving. Um, I bought my first one of these in June and I ended up buying three in June. Oops. And then I ended up buying three more the other day when I was at the mall and it's the Oh Sweetie Glosses by MAC. These are seriously so stunning. I will swatch them for you if you haven't seen what these looks like. Um, this is the pink one. This is the color. What is this? Raspberry Pavlova? Pavlova? I don't really know what a Pavlova is. I think it's a dessert, but these are absolutely stunning. I also got the shade Strawberry Tort. Tart? Wait. Tort. Strawberry Tort. I don't know what a strawberry tort is, but it looks like this. And these are just so summery and I feel like this time of the year, it's like literally everything I want to wear. I just want to wear like fun summery colors. Saying that I'm wearing like a freaking gothic looking eyeshadow and lip, but in general, I, I'm really, I'm really drawn to colors like this. I just think they are so nice. The formula in these is very different. It's, I mean, they're called a lip gloss, but I don't really think they're a lip gloss. They feel more like a liquid lipstick. Um, they apply like a gloss, but they're super opaque, but then they kind of dry down. Um, and once they're dry down, like they wear very well, in my opinion, from my experience, like I can leave these on for like five hours and it still looks pretty good. But at that time, like I usually have to reapply it because it's starting to crack a little bit, but for being a lip gloss, like I think these are fantastic and they smell so good. So if you're looking to try these, I would definitely recommend them. I think they're, they're great. Another purchase that I can blame Tati for, this is the Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. I just jumped on this wagon. I'm not sure if I got this in the very end of June or if I got this in the beginning of July, but either way, uh, this mascara is everything. Uh, this replaced my bad gal bang from Benefit that I really, really love um, and I still really love. But my problem with that mascara is that it dried out so fast for me. So after three weeks, like I wasn't able to use it anymore. Like it was just like a dry and nasty looking mascara. And I'm just not about paying $25 for a mascara if it's not going to last me for like three months. So this is probably my holy grail mascara right now. And if you haven't tried this already, just go, just go get it. Another thing that I bought that uh, is new to me is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. I'm really on the lookout for a new, less expensive spray that I can use to set my face with. Um, usually I use the Urban Decay All Nighter and I love that, but that one's pretty expensive. Also the Scandinavian one that I really love is also expensive. So if you guys know of any drugstore setting sprays, not fixing sprays, setting sprays that are really good that will make your makeup last, please let me know and I would be very interested in trying it. But for now, I'm definitely going to use up this bottle and I've been enjoying it. So yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy about buying that. Next up, I have some ColourPop stuff that I got. I also have a ColourPop haul and try on. I will link that up here as well if you haven't seen that. I got the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in white, and I thought I would use this as like a primer for my eyeshadows and stuff. I only tried it once and I tried it as a cup crease and I didn't really like it. I need to try this again as like a base for a yellow eyeshadow or something and see if that works any better. Um, I also got the ColourPop Flexitarian Super Shock Highlighter. This has been raved about so much and I just don't really understand. I just don't get it. Maybe it's just me, but the formula is just a little bit too glittery for me. And I feel like it doesn't really like sink into my skin. I feel like it just kind of like sits on top of my skin unless I really like buff it in with something else. But I didn't really like this and maybe it's just me. Maybe I got unlucky, I don't know, but it's just not my jam. I have someone walking past the window here and I don't really know what they're doing. Very confused right now. I think it might be the pool guy. Soda break. Who else loves Coke Zero? I can't be the only one. These guys need to stop. Like this is very loud. I don't know what they're doing. Another thing that I got from ColourPop is this No Filter Sheer Pressed Powder. I did not like this at all. It was uh, too heavy on my skin. Uh, 
it was really like hard pressed in the pan too and I had a hard time picking it up on my brush and once I did like it just felt really heavy on my skin so I wasn't a fan of this. Let me know if you try this and if you liked it. I think that I did like though was this Super Shock Shadow in Coconut. These are so incredibly soft and just stunning. So nice. I also got one of their Ultra Satin Lipsticks and this is in the shade Chance. It's just a cool tone purple. And I think these are actually really awesome. Uh, it was my first time trying this, trying this formula and I really like it. And I'll probably honestly pick up more of these when I do another Colourpop haul. Maybe not sometime soon, but we'll see. No promises. I also got the Jeffree Star Summer Lipstick Bundle. And I shared this with a friend of mine, so we both got four each. And the ones that I got look like this. And I like all of these. I love the fact that you can use Jeffree's lipsticks on your eyes. I think that's so cool that you can like do like liners and stuff with them and just have fun. And so I'm really happy that I got these. Honestly, I don't think I'll ever have enough of Jeffree's li liquid lipsticks. I just think their formula is amazing and I just, I love them. So going back to ColourPop, I actually got two more things. I got this brush which is just like a small crease blush. Why do I always say blush instead of brush? I, I don't get it, but either way, I got this brush and it's the E9 and I really like this. I have a lot of ColourPop brushes. I think they're so good. Like they're so inexpensive and so good. So every time I make an order from their, their site, I always make sure to pick up at least a new brush. I also got their brow pen. I really like their brow pens. These are really good. Uh, if you like a very creamy pigmented brow pen, then I think you will really love these. If not, definitely don't bother. So speaking of brow products, I also wanted to try this new MAC one. It's called Shape and Shade Brow Tint. So it looks like this and it's a brow pen. It's got a felt tip on it. So it's got a very thin felt tip and you can make like very hair-like strokes with it. Let me see if I can show you. And so I was all like, hey, let me try to make these natural looking brows that everyone on Instagram and YouTube is doing. And honestly, it's just not really my thing. Um, it's very time consuming. I will say though, I went to the spa with my husband the other day or like a week ago, and I just ran this through my brows just to like get a little bit in there because I obviously wasn't wearing any makeup. So. I put this in my brows and it looked pretty good. Like if you're into the natural look and you just want like a little bit more definition, not like a full blown like drawn on brow, then I think these are great. There's also like a powder on the other end of it, which I think is kind of weird. I don't really understand how you're supposed to use it, but hey, I'm sure a lot of people are loving this. So another thing that I got this month that I really love is this pink wet and wild eyeliner. And it is so rare to find like red based eyeliners anywhere. And I really did not think that I would find one from Wet n Wild. Like I was at CVS and I just randomly saw this and I was like, oh, hey, you're coming with me. So it came home with me and I love it. And it was so inexpensive too. I think I paid maybe $3 for it. Could be wrong. Maybe it was five, but either way, like this thing is great. So if you're in the lookout for a pink kind of metallic pencil, then I think this is a good deal. Uh, another lip product that I got, um, I actually featured this in my get ready with me trying new things that I posted like last week. I will link that up here as well. And this is the Hourglass wet and looking lipstick. And these are refillable, which I think is just so cool. Like it looks like this and then you can take this off. And once you're done with this, you can just go to the store and pick up another one and like Put it right back in and i just think the concept of that was so cool so very happy i got this i love the formula on it i love the color on it this is going to be great to just like chuck in my purse and not have to worry about like a liquid lipstick or anything like that i think this is amazing plus i could kill someone if i had to so that's a plus too uh next thing that i got is well i'm actually running out of things now Whew. all right that was a lot of talking so next thing that i got is this mark jacobs gloss stick I've been on the search for these for so long. You know how in brands sneak peek stuff and then it takes like two months for it to come out in stores. And so I've been waiting for this for so long and I don't know how many times I went into Sephora and I was like, hey, do you have the gloss sticks yet? And they're like, what are you talking about? 
and like even the people working there didn't know so uh, yeah it took me a long time to get my hands on this but this formula is so creamy and it's just it just glides on and it's just it's not sticky at all it's pigmented enough that you could wear it on your own but you could also layer it over lipsticks and I just I love this I I love it another thing that I got I think I'm just gonna mention this because I've been absolutely loving it this is like a scent, it's a rollerball that I got from Sephora and it is from Nest, it's called Black Tulip. Now I don't know how to describe scents at all, but it's a very sweet kind of florally scent in my opinion, like I could be way off, like this could be like a musky something men's scent, I don't know. But to me this is a very soft scent and I like very sweet things. So this was perfect for me and especially now in the summer months I just think it's is perfect for the season, so I'm very happy I got that. And like I said, it is from Nest. The last thing that I... God, I can't believe we made it to the end, but I think this is the last thing. So the last thing that I want to show you is this Urban Decay Heavy Metals Liner. Uh, it is in the shade Distortion. And I used this in a video the other day. I will leave that up here as well, unless my cards are full. But it was the... When did I use that? I think it was in my last 3 Lux 1 palette with the Afrique palette that I used this. And I just think this is so cool. It reminds me a little bit of the Steely Glitters. Wow, I have like no room on my hand. I don't know how well you can see this, but it's got like a gel base with like yellow and blue and kind of like holographic sparkles in it. And I think it's very unique. Um, I don't have anything like this. I don't think Stila makes anything like this. I know they have one called Perlina or something like that. That's like a white base glitter, but it's not It's not even close to the same as this. So yeah, that I think was my July haul. I don't want to add things up to see how much I spent because I spent too much. But that's just what happens sometimes when you really love makeup and you know, I have my channel now and I just think that's so cool that at least when I do spend money on makeup, I get to share it with you guys and show you. So uh, yeah, I think it's great to have someone to talk about my passion with and I'm so glad that I started my channel and that you guys all are loving it so much and following me and commenting on all my photos and just videos and it just, it warms my heart so much and I love you all. So thank you all so much for watching and if you're new here, I hope you stick around and I will see you in my next video. Bye.